Hi everyone, I'm Abigail from NYX Cosmetics and today we actually have celebrity makeup artist Saisha Beecham here with us today. We're gonna talk a little bit about what she's up to and all the new projects that you're in right now. Mm -hmm. So Saisha, tell us how did you start becoming a professional makeup artist? I started doing makeup on the side to get extra money and the makeup just took off. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually making money now. So maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And it actually paid off really well. How did you learn your tricks? You know what, uh, my background is painting and drawing. Oh, okay. So I think it kind of came naturally to me. I guess I could always say that I was good at blending out the colors, but just a matter of knowing which colors to choose. Right. That's what I had to work on. And I think just constantly practicing, constantly doing makeup, mm -hmm. calling up photographers who were testing and saying, hey, do you need a makeup artist? Yeah. That gave me lots and lots of experience. What are you working on right now? What's a new project that you can share with everyone? Actually, Carrie Hilson has actually been occupying a lot of my time. We've been on the I Am Still Music Tour with Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. and um, I was actually doing her makeup in her hair every day uh -huh. for the tour always always using the ultra pearl mania loose powder oh, yeah. <laughs> on the cheeks down the bridge of the nose uh -huh. you know she absolutely loves it like it's definitely a signature look for the tour so how did you learn about nyx cosmetics i saw these really cute little um vials is what i call them uh -huh. of eyeshadow and i was like oh those could be really cool one day i just poured the powder out on the, on the um, little tissue mm -hmm. and dusted it on somebody's cheeks and everybody went crazy. What is that? What is yeah. that? And it actually turned out to be one of my favorites. So we actually have a few questions from our Facebook fans that we'd like to ask you. How do you apply bronzer without looking so splotchy? Rub it all in, girl. Get it in there <laughs> real good. Keep smoothing and rubbing yeah. it in until it's blended out. And then usually you won't have that problem. How can you get the most matte complexion shine free? Matte out the face first yeah. before you start your foundation with the HD primer. Mm -hmm. um, what that does is kind of just kind of absorbs all the oil as well as smooths out your skin and then apply your foundation over it. How do you get the smoky look under the eye without it looking like you slept in your makeup? So the NYX slide on pencils are really great for that because they go on really creamy, which is a great way to create a smoky eye. I would just kind of rim the eye and then um, smudge it out with a smudge brush. You can even set it a little more with one of the NYX eyeshadow colors. Uh, I think that'll be your best bet. Tell us how can they find you on Twitter, Facebook, I know you have it all. I think the best way to find me is just um, Saisha Beach in my full name, simple. Just my name. So thank you for watching the exclusive TV and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.